secret we've been hammered with rain this spring. Weather office has been crunching some of the numbers and been here now to explain just how bad this has been, uh, especially if you're a farmer. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, when you look at the pure numbers, last year we had an inch more r of rain by this point. But we also had double the amount of snow last year, so all that stuff was loaded into winter. Yeah. This time, it's really come since April. Look at some of these numbers just since April 1st. Uh, Farmington Hills, one of the uh, highest totals, five inches above average. We would normally get 8.24 since the 1st of April, and Farmington Hills, five inches above that mark. You can see everywhere across the area, including Metro Airport, three inches above, four inches above. And again, it's because all of this has been backloaded really since spring. That's really what's caused all of these problems. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's not the rain totals. That's how much that's we are average. over average. Right, right. Yeah. And all these numbers add up to more than just puddles on your street and not being able to mow your lawn. Jason Colthorpe joins us, and this hurts people's livelihoods, Jason. And there are a lot of those folks, like you mentioned, farmers, how about lifeguards, a window washer, maybe you're a landscaper. Well, the rain is hitting a lot of folks like that very hard. If it isn't raining this spring... There's always evidence that it has been, and all that water is putting several outdoor jobs behind the eight ball, especially construction projects. This crew is pouring a major road project throughout Ferndale that has fallen behind schedule. You know what, when it's rain, it's not, we can even work because, you know, we can run the concrete. Yeah. It really puts you behind. Yeah, oh yeah, especially lately, I don't know, I've never seen nothing like that, you know. Rain doesn't just hurt the timeline of this project, it also hurts every guy on this crew. The owner telling me he doesn't think they've worked a full 40 hour week since March, but three times. We've been working like, you know, three or four days, you know, so. Is it frustrating? It is, because you, you can make money, you know. Yeah. So it's a lot of, you know, a lot of bills like, you know. Ever remember a rainier spring with us? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. George Thompson doesn't just cut lawns, he fertilizes and seeds. It's uh, raining a lot, so it uh, kind of puts you behind, but it keeps everybody growing. But at the end of the day, I'm a hustler about this, and I get out here and I make it happen. Oh, if you need a guy, this guy, he was doing three lawns at one time when we found him, yeah. Uh, and he, he's finding the bright spot there. You can see, like, all the greens, or all the lawns are green. He's got work. Others, like those concrete workers, though, say it leads, it also leads to working 12-hour days when you do get a good day. So right, just, yeah. so much to yeah. squeeze in. It's I get it. Trend. All this cloud cover, everybody, it, it's been so cool. We're all kind of waiting for summer to start. And, <laughs>